everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back for another brand new video. I just want to really quickly say before I actually get into this video because I have got a lot on my mind. Um, if you're under a certain age and everything like that, um, this video is definitely not for you. If you want to see how my feelings and everything come back tomorrow, we'll be doing a, like a player rating and I'm sure you will want to see that as well. Um, this one though, I've got a lot to say so yeah, please leave the video or just the younger audience and everything like that. Right, okay. So... If you're still watching this video just now, you know that was a bag of f***ing shit. Rangers at home versus Hamilton. F***ing Hamilton. Go beat 2-0. 2 f***ing no. Um Right, so let's get in it. Um, I predicted a 3-0 win with Rangers. We were all happy. We were like, oh, we're going to break the free game curse. It's going to be over. Yay. You get a win. You Remember all the players? In, oh, oh, why? Oh, Josh Windass, the free game streak's embarrassing. We're going to be looking to put that to bed. No, do you care what's made embarrassing? Then nobody will win three games in a row. It's before you come out the third game and say, oh, it's embarrassing. All the players are motivated. Then what the f*** was that? Chance after chance after chance after chance chance you couldn't have scored on a brothel it was absolutely it was honestly embarrassing it wasn't as if we were just pumped right so i'm not going to try and see that if you're watching this just now and you missed the game or you're working or whatever like i know what it's like you're thinking oh we got pumped oh terrible no marty set the team out the fucking players didn't execute it chance 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 morelos right let's just get to morelos right okay and i'm gonna call him his right name now i'm not doing like a wee jokey hanger usually i'm fucking done all right i'm sick of seeing this stuff i get loads of Loads of abuse, everything for the last couple of weeks I've been saying, well, what's he doing, what's he doing, oh you love him do you, he's working hard, oh he's working hard, aye, I wish he'd start f***ing banging goals in, because that's what we paid him for, we didn't need another hard worker on the wings, alright, we had one, his name is Wacom, we had another lion, his name is Joey Garner, alright, we had them last season, we brought in goal scorers, so stay in the f***ing box, not right wing, see when we're 1-0 down, against Hamilton, I didn't want to see our out and out striker or goal machine out wide whipping balls into Josh Windass and Kenny King Miller, we'll get there, don't worry, so that's just my opinion, fun fact about Morelos, Clint Hill has scored more goals in his last nine games, Clint Hill, absolutely love Clint Hill, everyone loves Clint Hill, scored more goals in the last nine games than Morelos has scored, do you know why, because Morelos has just scored in the nine games, and I didn't want this to seem like I've turned my back on him saying he's done and everything like that. He's definitely not finished at the club anyway. He's going to have a great future. He's got a lot of potential. But I'm just sick of seeing us doing this with strikers. It's not the striker. It's how we set up. It must be what the f*** we're telling them. Because Garner done the same. And whoever we play up front seems to do the same thing. Run out wide and cross balls in. No, stay in the f***ing box. Right, let's talk about another wee thing. Yes, you know, I missed another one-on-one -on -one chance. And I blew it right at the bat. I can't defend him for that. I'd love to. I'd bench him for a game. Alright, um, maybe if we're winning 3-0 or something like that, and whatever game, because, you know, we'll start the streak up again, we'll go back to square one, and we'll play good, and then we'll say, oh, we turned the corner, oh, watch, we're going to beat Aberdeen, 3-9 or something like that. Then we'll win again, and then we'll get f***ing pumped in the third game. That's what I'd genuinely do, because I'd, I'd give him maybe a wee bit of rest, because he looks like he's trying way too hard, I don't know what he's doing, he's hitting post bars, unbelievable save, miss, 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 miss. It's just, I'm tired of it. Give Herrera a chance, give Ryan Hardy a chance, give someone a chance, because it's not working. Um, or maybe even play two up front. Remember when we scored goals? Remember when he was scoring goals left, right and centre and I put him above, who was it, Dembele? One of them, one of them. I said, oh, I, this guy could be son. I Since we're playing him up front, has he scored? On himself? No, because he tries too hard. So that's me done with Morel. Sorry if I'm kind of ranting on about too much because I genuinely love the guy. I genuinely do, but he's just not cutting it for me just now. Just absolutely not. The rest of the team, let's go through it. Goalkeeper, was he at fault? No real life tempo and just kind of minced them. Can we talk about wee temps? It was, it was great seeing them. It was a nice story and everything like that. But genuinely, f***ing me, tempo in. Could you have embarrassed our team any more today? I seen you doing your muted celebration. Even though some people at f***ing Ibrox was booing you. I didn't understand that. Wasn't it like he left? He's not a money merchant like Lafferty or anything. Oh, Naismith. Bring Naismith back. He's not like one of them. No, this guy was injured and we went, cut you mate. Bye. Enjoy your injury. Your career's over. And then he's came back and he's in minsters. So fair play to him. Right, um, so apart from that, Hamilton's whole game plan was give it to Templeton and Templeton's just rinsed us. If you're a Hamilton fan, 
Um, your tactics worked perfectly. You defended strong. Um, you rode your luck, obviously, at times, but we couldn't uh, hit a barn door with a shotgun. Give it to Tempot, and Tempot was running ring round. Ross McCrory, I've seen some people hit hitting digs, and I'm not even going to go there because I love Ross. Um, he's going to have that. He's a young defender. He's going to have games where he plays a nine and games where he plays fives, even sixes. He made some good tackles, so I'm not even going to go there. Danny Wilson, again, played okay. Um, but they had, like, two chances, right? They had two chances and scored them both. So I don't what to say about that. Right, let's talk about who was at left back. And his name was Lee Hodson. Now, Lee Hodson, you saw it up on Twitter. I just fucking knew this guy would be at fault for a goal. And just every time he touched the ball, it, like, I, like, I'm trying not to just be overly negative, but fuck me, I think that was his worst performance yet. And I've seen some... Ter Hodson's performances are usually frees, but that was like a negative free. There was times where Fods was passing him the ball and he was taking heavy touches and giving it straight to Hamilton players. He was turning back when we had a counter opportunity and hanging it back to uh, Fordingham. There was times as well when we'd done a nice one too and all I had to do was hit a simple pass in, but he was overhitting it. Go back and look at that goal that we conceded for that second goal. Hodson has about 10 yards on something. I don't even care who it is who scored. Because I, I f***ing banged my laptop, I'm not going to lie to you, so it's kind of... Um, right, he had about 10 yards and I saw it happen and I was like, oh no. That's, I wasn't even looking at the guy that was running with the ball because I knew where it was gone and I knew he had spotted him. The guy had about 10 yards on the Hamilton player and the Hamilton player was like skipping. He was doing it one of these. He was he was giving it shushies as he was just running by Hodson who was like... But it was like only top heavy. His legs weren't moving very fast. It was just Arams. He was just one of these guys that like speed walks and the guy just destroys him for pace. He can't get back in time. Easy 2-0. Bang, bang. They create two chances. They score two chances. Fair play to them. Templeton was unlucky for another uh, volley as well. The rest of the team, uh, Jack and Holt, again, I thought they'd done all right. Um, if we ended up conceding, um, scoring those chances that Morelos missed, they would have been an absolute raven, so I'm not going to dig into them. Um, Windass had his moments. I thought he was looking like a best player for the first 20 minutes, but then sort of faded off. Um, done it, tried his best, but I just didn't understand what we did. Miller goes out left wing, Morelos goes out right wing, we're like, Windass, go and play centre forward, mate. Okay. 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 Um, who else? Candias. Candias. See when you have 11, 11, fucking 11 crosses, mate, and you just keep doing the same fucking thing. Low driven front post. Low drum front post. Do you ken how it's easy to defend? Because see when you've got it. Ken what the defenders do? They go low driven front post. Ken what the goalkeeper does? He prepares for the low driven front cross. Do you ken why? Because that's all you f day. I don't know. Try and mix up a bit. Um, right, let's talk about Kenny Miller. Kenny Miller's been f posted missing since Harps. And that's what really scared me after that Harps game. You guys wouldn't know I talked about that. And I got a lot of flack again because everyone, one minute result. Look at these. They're already turning on Murray. Murray was a hero yesterday. Um, right, so Kenny Miller was put on a pedestal after the Harps game. We absolutely loved him and everything like that. I'll still love him as a person, but he's going back to doing what Kenny Miller does. Left wing, left mid, centre mid, left mid, centre mid, centre mid let, 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 anywhere but up front. And that's basically me just done, because I could just rant on here all day, lads. That was a disgusting performance. We were really, really let down. I just wish the players would stop the motivational stuff on Twitter, on Instagram. And just do their jobs, all right. And I, I didn't want it just to seem like I'm slaughtering the players and calling them. All right. We had the chances to win this game six two, but Morelos missed every single one of them. That has been it. Um, smash the like button because obviously this is going to get loads of like hate from other fans and everything. So I'd be greatly appreciated if you could show your support. Quick little sponsor break because I can't. I'm not really in the mood if I'm honest with you. Can I take these to heart? So obviously I love Rangers in my club. Um, and I, I did take these losses very, very um, annoying. Look at my laptop. There's money down the drain. Three, two, one. Sponsor break. It was a goddamn joke. Right, let's read out some of your guys' opinions on Twitter. I didn't even bother doing a poll, but because it is as much your channel as it is mine, I thought I'd read it out. Aaron Thompson chips in with, Just sad as mate, turning into Leeds now. And it wasn't great to watch. Well, you're feeling you're going to spew. Shower right, what a team this is just now. Leeds is such a good shout, and it's scary. You and Mackenzie, the whole effing... Uh, Effing? Really, Craig? After you dropped 50 fucking F-bombs? F-bombs. Needs a good looking at. From what I've seen, Tav is the only one who potentially has past marks. Uh, that's why I didn't go after Tav, I didn't go after Jack, and I didn't go after Holt. I thought those three held their head held high. Like I said, if Morelos takes those chances, he's all in love with them. The rest of the team, though, no f*** me. Um, Mark Menzies. Um, 
Windass only passed Mark, everyone else was shit. Um, never seen the game, mate. Was Windass good? I wouldn't say good, uh, but I'd give my pass Mark. So that's a wee conversation, yeah. He, he tried. I, I like Windass, always have. You can what you get with Windass, and I appreciate that. Like, he does certainly try, and again, we had the chances to score, so. DJ. I feel like greeting. Hibs beat, Shibs, uh, Sheep beat, and guess what Rangers do? How are we going to get rid of another team full of duds? The next gaffer will buy another team. No, he doesn't need to buy another team. Do you care what he does? He keeps Fods, he keeps Tav, he keeps Danny Wilson, he keeps um, McCrory, he keeps DJ, he gets rid of Hodson, he keeps Kandias, he keeps Jack, he keeps Holt, he keeps Dorrance, he keeps Windass, he keeps uh, Morella starting. And do you care what he does? He signs, uh, he signs Molt, he signs Walker, and he signs uh, McLean and DJ all on pre-contracts in January and try and get a wee deal there. That is what you do. You didn't get rid of the whole team because the team's strong in certain ages. It's just we're getting lit doing with stupidness. Again, we could have won this game easy. And I'd been here sitting here celebrating, but no, because we can't, because we're fucking Rangers. And Stevie Brown just chips in with piss. I just can't, you can what? I just can't read any mail, lads, because I'm like, this is, this is um, I'll be TJ Novo92. Thank you for watching and bye bye.